How necessary is the use of wild species to your daily needs and well-being? Wild species might seem disconnected from our lives, important only to other people, in distant places, or as the subjects of impressive wildlife documentaries, but nothing is further from the truth. Billions of people in all developed and developing countries use wild species every day for food, energy, materials, medicine, recreation, inspiration and countless other vital contributions to our lives. However, a global biodiversity crisis looms, with a staggering one million species of plants and animals now at risk of extinction. This poses a serious threat to the benefits we all receive every day from wild species. A game-changing report on the sustainable use of wild species was launched in 2022 by the Intergovernmental Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES. The report offers insights, analysis and tools to establish a more sustainable use of wild species of plants, animals, fungi, and algae worldwide. Sustainable use means maintaining biodiversity and the way ecosystems work, while still contributing to the well-being of people. About 50,000 wild species are used by people around the world, with 70% of the world's poor directly dependent on these uses. In developing countries, rural populations are most at risk from unsustainable use of wild species, with lack of alternatives often forcing them to exploit wild species already at risk. But the use of wild species extends far beyond the global south. It serves as a significant source of income worldwide. Wild tree species, for instance, account for two-thirds of global industrial roundwood, and trade in wild plants, algae and fungi is a billion-dollar industry. Even non-extractive uses of wild species, such as ecotourism, based on observing them, generated 8 billion visitors and $600 billion for protected areas annually before the COVID-19 pandemic. The regular use of wild species is extremely important for all people in every community. From the fish that we eat, to medicines, cosmetics, decoration and recreation, the use of wild species is much more prevalent and valuable than most people realize. The report identifies five broad categories of use of wild species by people. Fishing, gathering, logging, terrestrial animal harvesting and non-extractive practices like observing. It then examines specific uses, such as for food and feed, materials, medicine, energy, ceremony and learning, providing detailed information about trends in each over the past 20 years. Overexploitation is one of the main threats to the survival of many land-based and aquatic species in the wild. Addressing the causes of unsustainable use and, wherever possible, reversing these trends will result in better outcomes for wild species and the people who depend on them. The report identifies other main drivers that impact the abundance and distribution of wild species and can increase stress and challenges among the human communities that use them. Global trade in wild species has also expanded substantially over the past four decades and without effective regulation across supply chains, from local to global, this trade generally increases pressures on wild species, leading to unsustainable use and sometimes to wild population collapses. Illegal trade in wild species is actually the third largest class of all illegal trade. The estimated annual value of illegal trade in wild species is up to $199 billion. Seven key elements are presented in the report that can be used as levers of change. 
to promote the sustainable use of wild species if scaled up across practices, regions and sectors. These are policy options that are inclusive and participatory, policy options that recognize and support multiple forms of knowledge, policy instruments and tools that ensure fair and equitable distribution of costs and benefits, context-specific policies, monitoring of wild species and practices, policy instruments that are aligned at international, national, regional and local levels and that maintain coherence and consistency with international obligations, taking into account customary rules and norms. And lastly, robust institutions, including customary institutions. The report also finds that supporting secure tenure rights and equitable access to land, fisheries and forests for indigenous peoples and local communities, as well as poverty alleviation, create enabling conditions for the sustainable use of wild species. The sustainable use of wild species is crucial to ensure the success of many of the most pressing global development challenges, from poverty, hunger and health, to education, gender equity, energy and innovation. It also underpins the goals and targets of the new Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework and ultimately matters to every one of us in our daily lives. The IPBES Sustainable Use of Wild Species Report is a key resource to help decision makers choose policies that better support people and nature. We are all decision makers in our own lives, so we can all take action to ensure the more sustainable use of wild species, safeguarding their vital contributions to our quality of life and well-being.